pinching her fingers against her thumb, motioning together and apart. Eat more? A light goes on. A connection is made. With this simple gesture, both mother and baby develop an understanding. The, the first thing that happens when you're doing baby sign is you're engaging with the baby, right? You're giving them the one-on-one -on -one attention that they really crave and they really desire. Yeah, it's an airplane. And it's as fun as it's educational. What's this one? Rachel Obey, an ASL instructor, says most babies can begin understanding sign language as early as three to six months old. She says the learning process happens in three phases. Boy, do you hear him singing? So generally the first is you're showing them the sign, right? You're saying, that is a car, right? And then you're saying, what's that? Is that a car car? So phase two is uh, asking them for the sign. Who's that? Who's that? Quack, quack, quack. So you show them the sign, you ask them for the sign, and then they do it spontaneously. Then they'll see a car going down the street and they'll show you a car. Apple. Rachel says Apple. at 6 to 12 months old, the brain dog. usually isn't developed to a the level where it can dog? make speech, but dog. motor skills are developed. Even though they may not be able to make the exact sign for more, they might say more, they might say more, or something or do something like this. They're still communicating that need. And being able to communicate their needs is crucial. Imagine how difficult it must be for an infant who relies so heavily on their parents to try to communicate a need but just can't. With baby signs, something as simple as what looks like flailing hands is all done which could mean a variety of things like I'm tapped out, I'm tired, or I'm finished with this thing that we're doing, I'd like to do something else. So you could take a very basic gesture and it can communicate a lot of needs on various different levels. Breaking down that communication barrier, the ability to now be understood means less frustration with mom and baby. Whatever sort of mode of connection and communication you can get with them, the more they're gonna calm, the more they're gonna self-soothe, uh, because they know that they're they're cared for. So the more touch, the more gesture, singing, even if you're an awful singer, <laughs> still try to sing a lot of songs to them. They really connect to music. He was doing the signs, he was saying all done. So instead of throwing his food when he doesn't want it anymore, he would look at me and say all done. And, and I'd say, if you want more, and he'd start to kind of mouth more and do the signs. Although baby sign is becoming increasingly popular, Rachel says some parents have concerns it will discourage their child from speaking. Quite a few years ago that speech language pathologists would recommend to people that they shouldn't use sign language instead of language, which I completely agree with. But what we do with baby sign is we always say the word we're signing. Banana. We use vocal intonation, we use inflection, so we'll say, oh, look, a cat. You know what I mean? We'll draw the word out for them so they hear the sound. And then when they make the connection between the spoken word, what they see, the and the sign, then they learn it quicker. And it's a, it's a whole different thing that happens in the middle of the brain. And it promotes early literacy. What's this one? Cat. Cat. Very good. What's a cat saying? Meow. Meow. It seemed maybe about two or three months after that that more words started to come. And uh, especially the songs. So he would start, he's a really an avid dancer. So he would start uh, dancing as soon as Rachel would, would start to sing the songs. You are my sunshine. My only sunshine, you make me happy. It's definitely something, though, that also engages them to learn more language. Rachel teaches more? baby sign to parents in the Parksville and Qualicum area. You can find more information about her and classes at babysignwithrachel.com. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Rayanne LaPlante. Who's going to make all done?